Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this look right here and I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette for my eyes along with some glitter as you can see. Let's jump into the tutorial. So I've already moisturised my face and the first thing I want to do is apply my primer all over my face. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer and I'm just putting this everywhere. I have slightly dry skin so I prefer something that's a bit more luminous and a bit more moisturising so that it hides my dryness a little bit more. So that's why I'm not using sort of a silicone based primer for this. And then I'm going to go straight into doing my eyes. I'm using this colour from the Morphe 35O palette. I've already put a bit of tape on my eyes, I've primed and I've set my eyes using the lightest colour in the palette. So using the colour that I pointed to earlier, I'm just buffing that into my crease. I'm taking a little bit at first and I'm just going to keep building it up and buffing it backwards and forwards and in circular motions because I don't want the colour to build up too quickly, I don't want to apply too much too soon, otherwise it just won't blend and it'll have a sort of harsh look. We want it all to be blended in and all to come together nicely. So using the next colour, I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to build up the outer portion of my eye with this lovely orange shade. So I'm just going to build this up slowly as well, that's the key with this look, we don't want to apply too much, you just want to build it up bit by bit by bit. So I'm going to take a slightly darker shade and build it up even more and we're just doing all of the blending as we go. So just keep applying it, blending it, applying it, blending it and it will come together as it's doing here. So I'm going to put a bit in my inner corner because of course it's going to be a halo eye. So I'm going to build up the colour in the inner corner and connect it to the outer corner. And then blending it all out with the transition shade I used earlier. So I'm taking the brown colour on a pencil brush and I'm deepen up, deepening up the outer corner further and also in the inner portion as well just to deepen up the halo eye, give it a bit more definition and to give it a bit more colour. Now you can see in the video it doesn't look as warm as it looks in real life now that's just my video lighting it is washing it all out as you see at the beginning of the video and at the end it does look a lot warmer and a lot more orangey so it is important that you build up the orange as much as I do otherwise you won't get the same effect in real life so just keep deepening, and deepening up the inner and outer corners and blending it in just so there are no harsh lines anywhere so I've already put some glitter glue on the middle of portion of my eye and I'm just taking a MAC 242 brush and putting a generous amount of glitter in the middle of my eye. It's important that we just do it in the middle otherwise it'll just sort of mess the look up all together so do be careful when applying the glitter glue in the first place and then we just slowly build it up, add a bit more and a bit more. So now that the eyes are done, you'll see that I've put some liquid liner on and I've put some falsies on as well off camera and I've also finished my eyebrows off. So I'm taking, you'll see far too much foundation all over my face. It's the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I'm in the colour Light 45. Now I've taken a bit too much, which is why I am spending so long buffing it in, but I'm using a dupe for the Artiste brush. This was about four pounds and it is actually really, really fantastic. So now I'm going in with a small foundation brush and putting the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer all under my eyes in a upside down triangle shape just to bring more light to the area and make me look more awake. So I'm going to add a good amount to there, the end of my nose, my chin, my forehead, anywhere else that I feel needs a bit of light and a bit of definition. And then I'm going to blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. Now you've got to be patient with this, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is kind of thick compared to some others, so you do have to work it in. And now I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Lasting Perfection, no it's Match Perfection, get it right, and I'm going to set all of the areas that I've just put concealer on and you can see there's powder flying everywhere. Now to set the rest of my face I'm going to use the Stay Matte 
um, powder by Rimmel as well and I'm taking a bigger powder brush and I'm just setting the rest of my face. And now my face is looking quite flat and fair so I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hoola bronzer just to add a bit of definition to the areas that are lacking it. So I'm going under my cheekbones, the top of my forehead, my temples and I'm going to do it under my lip as well just to add some contour and add a bit of shape and definition to my face. Now the Hoola bronzer isn't the most pigment pigmented bronzer in the world so you can go a bit heavy with it. If you've never used bronzers before it is quite easy to use and it's easy to blend as well. So I'm going to take a bigger brush and just blend it out so there's no harsh lines anywhere. Next I'm taking one of my favourite blushes, it's the Benefit Dandelion blush and I'm just putting that all over my cheeks. It's not too pigmented but it just gives a really beautiful glow because there's a slight bit of shimmer in it but that doesn't really transfer to the face. You can actually use it all over as a finishing powder if you like. Now I'm taking the Merry Luminizer by the Balm and I'm just putting that at the top of my cheekbones and I'm going quite heavy with it because I do like a good glow but there's no glitter in this either which means it it just looks quite natural, on, on me at least, and it just carves out some cheekbones where I actually don't have any. So I'm going to put a little bit on my the end of my nose and my cupid's bow as well, just so I look a little bit more pouty. And I'm going to just add a little bit more to my temples, I felt like I needed it. Now I'm going in with a smudger brush under my eye with the same brown shade I used on the outer and inner corners earlier and I'm blending it out with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the orange shade as well just to warm it up so that we have warmth on the bottom and the top and it all comes together nicely. So now for my bottom lashes I'm going to take the MAC 3D Extra Dimension, I think it's called, mascara. I've got quite long lashes so I do feel it needs this to finish off the look nicely. And I'm going to set my brows as well with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. It just keeps it all in place so nothing comes off. And now I'm taking the Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K to finish off my lips. I'm just going to line my lips all over. I've got quite wonky lips so I do need to overline and underline to even it out. And then I'm going to put the liquid lipstick all over my lips just to finish it all off. So that's it. This is the finished look. I really am glad with how it turned out. I really like the glittery eyes it's really fabulous for a night out i really like the way the lip goes with the eyes i really like the combination so if you like this video please do give us a give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more like it please subscribe because there are going to be more in the future and i will see you in the next video bye guys